In this session, I'm going to demonstrate how to insert a table in a slide in PowerPoint 2013. Let's go to this slide. And now in this slide, we want to insert a table. So we click on table. And then you can either draw the table this way, or you could choose to insert the table as you can see in the bottom of this area, or you can use it an Excel spreadsheet. So we're going to draw this table at this point with however many pieces we want. Now we drag this and then adjust the size of it however we want it. And of course, at this point, we just simply type the text here. Now notice uh, as part of this table, notice there are different designs that we can apply or different uh, styles that we can apply to this table, including different uh, effects. And so that's one of the ways and one thing to utilize with the tables. It's pretty straightforward, as you can see. Of course, under the layout tab, we can tinker with more settings as well. So you can add also charts and that's what's most common uh, rather than basic tables which you'll, potentially you can utilize but you can also utilize uh, charts so for that let me create here we can either add it in this area or we can create a new slide by simply right click here and choose new slide now under the insert tab we go here under chart and then you can pick a design of a chart that you might prefer. You might want a line chart, pie chart, whatever type of chart that you want. And basically simply click on it and click OK. You can simply customize it further as well. And now notice it's already inserted. Now what it's doing here is that it's expecting us to insert some categories here so we could say category one you could have products here you could have um, prices or months or quarters of the year and so on and customize it however you want now notice that it's giving us three columns here that means is that we have three actually four categories so it's category one two three four and then also it's giving us three actual readings for each one of them and that's because it's series one, series two, series three. If we did not want, uh, let's say, three of them or four uh, areas here, four categories, all you have to do is notice there's this blue area here in the bottom right, hold the mouse down and then move it to however many you want to display. And you can expand and uh, remove items from there. Now notice, there are other additional settings here so if i click outside of this table and you can close this or open it however you want if you double click notice there is a design area and a formatting area you can change colors here customize it you can put uh, different values in there represent the data a different way use actual values as part of the display also under the quick layout you can apply different like display the data right below it and so on and basically customize it to your liking and of course i'm not going to very many details regarding that at this point but you can you get the idea and of course this will depend on how you're presenting the data and that type of thing then of course you can resize this and uh, you need to make sure that the background does not interfere with it Again, if you didn't want the background, you can click on Format Background and then change it to Hide the Graphics. And there it is. It's cleaner at this point. So that's how inserting tables works in PowerPoint and also inserting charts. Keep in mind again that to change this data, you have to go and click on Edit Data. Once you bring up the contextual tools here, you click on Edit Data and then you can customize and tinker with the data, basically.